Hey guys, how's it going? Buster Photo here with another camera review how to. Today, I'm going over a Nikomat FTN, a Nikon Nikomat FTN, one of the cheapest manual SLR cameras you will find. I mean, for this one, this one's in beautiful condition. I mean, there isn't a scratch on this except maybe right here around the little Nikomat plate. I paid $11 shipped for this on eBay, and you will continuously find these for less than $20 in great condition. And if you're just getting into film, holy smokes, man, like, get one of these. They're so cheap. They, make sure you have one that works, obviously, and it, it, it pretty much has all you need. Um, they have different versions um, that have um, the shutter speeds in different places, but... I mean, it doesn't matter which one you get. The light meter is, I mean, if, if your light meter is working, it works great, super accurate. But, um, so yeah, let's go over um, some of the features of this camera. So the first thing we want to do is get a lens on here because you can't take pictures without a lens, or at least not with this camera. So we have a 50 millimeter 1.4 here. Now, in order for this camera to be coupled correctly with the lens, it does need a lens with rabbit ears. You can obviously shoot any Nikon F mount lens with this camera, but you won't have um, light readings like such as a a non AI uh, Nikon lens. But you can always um, use an external light meter, or you know, Sunny Sixteen rule, and things like that. So in order to couple a lens with this with this camera. It needs to grab onto this little, this little protruding piece right here. So your lens must be in 5.6 aperture. And that's the only way it's going to line up perfectly. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. And when you're putting the lens on, uh, sorry, this isn't all the way down. That's why it's not lining up. So 5.6, boom. And make sure you slide this tab all the way to the right when putting on a new lens. And that's lined up. So we turn it, you're going to hear a click, click. And this lens has a little aperture indexing window right here. And we want to make sure the, the, the camera knows what kind of lens we're using or what our widest aperture is, biggest aperture is. So what you do, once you get your lens on there, you turn your aperture ring all the way to the left and then all the way to the right. And if you did that correctly, it should show, it should show right here. Sorry, it should show, there we go. So right there, it's just shy of 1.2. You see a little red, little red line. It's just shy of 1.2, and this is a 1.4 lens, so that shows that we did that correctly. And now you're ready to shoot pictures. So let's go over um, the buttons and features of this camera. Right here, as I showed you, we have our, our lens release. Right here is a mirror lockup. Really easy to do. You simply push it down. Let's see if we can see it jump up. You push it down. And then the mirror is locked up. And really easy to bring it back down. You just push it back up. And that's for your mirror lockup to reduce any vibration in the camera. Right here you have a self timer. Turn that. Advance, move the uh, the film and advance lever, and then hit the shutter, and then you will hear a winding, and that is your self timer counting down. Wait for, just wait for that, and then there it goes. Right here is your little rings for um, a, a neck strap or any kind of strap attachment. And now this camera is a little interesting. So let's start from the top. So on, on most cameras, or most older film SLRs, the shutter speed dial is usually right here. But on this one, it isn't. On this one, it's around the lens. And you move it with this with this um, little, little handle, I guess is the best little nub, little knob, and that's how you turn the shutter speed. And there's a little little circle right here, and as you're turning this, 
it changes the the shutter speed. So we have a thousand from a thousand to one second, and then bulb. So a little a little different with this um, Nikomat FTN. Um, I know the FTN EL, which is a different version of this Nico of a Nikomat or Nikomat, which I also own, and I'll be doing a review of it sooner. Oh, pretty soon. It has the the shutter speed dial right here. But on the Nikko mat or Nikkor mat for the American version, the Nikko mat is a Japanese version, FTN, it has the shutter speed dial right here around the lens. And also right here around the lens, let me change that focus. This is how you change your film speed. Now that this is act actively coupled with the, the light meter inside the camera. So moving this will change the, the different light readings you get. So right here I have it at um, 400, I mean, I'm sorry, film speed 400. And it's really easy to, to move. I mean, there's no real trick to it. You just kind of put your fingernail in there and then you just slide it around. So now it's around 800. Let's put it back to 400. And almost there, there. And that's how you um, that's how you change your your shutter speed. I mean, I'm sorry, your film speed. So that is that. Moving towards the top of the camera, you have your film advanced lever. Obviously, that little red circle is it indicates that your camera is on. The only real off switch to this camera is you put the film advanced lever back. That's on. That's off. Really easy. Here's your shutter release, of course. Here's your film counter window. And right here, if this button right here, if I'm not mistaken, is your depth of field preview. Yep, there it is. You can see those aperture blades closing, showing your depth of field. This little attachment right here is actually a cold shoe um, for attaching a flash. Cold meaning that this doesn't actively fire the flash. You would you would need um, these flash sync uh, ports right here to do that. And right here you have um, an external light meter. Let's see if we can get a reading on that. So I can show you. Uh, let's go. Let's see if we can get that needle to move. Oh, should probably turn the camera on. Yeah, there we go. Again, that shows you the on-off switch of the camera. Close it, your light meter turns off. Open it, your light meter turns on. So that's what that is. Right here, really simple film rewind knob. Moving to the back of the camera. There is no um, film door window to put um, a little piece of your film cardboard in there to remind you just a simple film door nothing fancy on the on the sides on the bottom this is your battery compartment door um, your tripod mount and your film release when you want to rewind your film after you're done shooting using that there is no motor drive um, that is made for this camera so I don't know if that makes is one of the reasons why these cameras are so cheap I mean they are dirt cheap but uh, yeah, there is no motor drive that is made for the for the Nikon FTN. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, the Nikon mats. Um, in order to open the film door, this little lever right here, you just kind of stick your fingernail in there. And that opens the door. Really simple on the inside, really easy to load film. You bring that up, put your cartridge, your film roll in there, bring that back down, bring your film over here, slide the tip of it into one of these grooves, advance it one time, and then that's usually when I close the door. And then fire, advance one more time, and that's usually where I like shooting. I like to, I like to try to get as many um, exposures out of a 36 roll as possible. And that is pretty much it. I mean, really, really simple camera, dirt cheap. I mean, you can find them all over the place. There is no difference between the Nikko mat or the Nikkor mat other than the name and this little plate right here. Um, the Nikko mat, again, was 
how it was branded in Japan. Nikor mats is how it was branded in the U.S. But built super solid. I mean, this thing is all metal and super cheap. If if you're looking for a first time uh, film camera, I mean, grab a Nikko mat, save the money, um, and buy a lens. I mean, the money you would spend um, on a more expensive camera. Um, and yeah, that that is pretty much that's pretty much it for the Nikko mat. Um, yeah, beautiful little camera. Um, super simple. And uh, yeah, uh, but uh, please like this video if you found it helpful. Um, it helps other people find this video as well. Um, please leave me a comment if I got anything wrong, if you have any questions, or just want to say hello. I try to respond um, to all the comments because I get very few since I'm just starting out my channel. And uh, please subscribe. I have tons of more videos um, coming out, including um, a different Nico Matt. Um, coming out pretty soon after this one. Um, I just have some film in that camera, so I'm trying to finish shooting and then so I can do a review on it. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, this is Buster Photo. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, have a nice day.